<laughs> oh shit! Almost fell off there. <laughs> no one saw that. Farmers! I am going to find you! That's the way farmers talk. Anyway, we're gonna go to the fuel station, fuel pump, get some fuel, get them beasts running up, <laughs> put some juice in them, and then we're gonna go uh, meet some friends, because that's what we usually do. Just last time we were supposed to get a barbecue, but that never happened. Barbecue was cancelled. My stomach felt sad, I felt sad, so we went to McDonald's, as you would have remembered. Now we're going back there. Of course, of course this time we're not hoping for oh shit. That huge ass rock just hit my tire. Um, this time we're not go hoping for a barbecue, so we don't get disappointed. Where is he? Oh, what the f is that? It's a wee bunny rabbit. Oh no. I didn't see that on my way up here. Must be fresh. Fresh meat. Grab it while I can. <laughs> Cook some dinner. Who needs barbecue when you have fresh rabbit? Making sure everything's alright. Jesus. That thing farts loud. <laughs> It's like a farting machine. Rise, motherfucker! What the f was he waving at? Wave to my camera, say hello. If someone road rages against me, well, they're going on film and they're either going to get humiliated publicly on YouTube or if there's a more serious incident, it's going to be that and they're going straight to the police if it's anything serious. Anyway, the less fuel you have in your, in your bike, the faster you go because <laughs> it gets lighter. Especially you can especially notice the difference in acceleration and top speed on uh, smaller bikes like the scooter for example. Usually they're quite slow as they're accelerating, uh, especially FSTCC, but then basically when you have not a lot of fuel, it's not a lot of weight. But basically there's less weight and you go much faster. Well the mirror's a little bit low. Stuff. That means put in my hand off the bottom. Perfect. Much better. <laughs> anyway, I'm waiting for 13,000 mile mark, and at that stage, I, uh, I'm gonna do a review or a personal thoughts kind of thing pros, cons, personal opinion about the bike. So you should expect that quite shortly. Let's say a couple of weeks time. Not more than a month. Um, bumpy roads. Ouch. <laughs> so yeah. If you have any questions so far, feel free to ask. I'll answer. You ask, I answer. That kind of thing. If there's anything you want me to discuss or uh, get to know my personal thoughts on, be sure to tell me. Oh, I might do a video on that. Like I said, there's a lot of things to discuss. And it doesn't have to be uh, a completely new topic to you know, motor vloggers. It can be something already discussed like CBTs or... Uh, know personal opinions about different sorts of bikes like scooters you have 
sports bikes, uh, motards, supermotos, dirt bikes, quads even. Well, they're not really bikes, but I suppose they're, they fit in there somewhere. Even tricycles, the three wheeled uh, bikes. Most oh, that is weird as hell. Especially London Police, Metropolitan Police, I believe they have the three wheeled motorcycles, where it's like one wheel in the rear and two wheels in the front, close, close together. It looks weird, but I suppose it's good for them to get around traffic and all that. He's finally decided to slow down at least. What? Do you want me to roll out beside of you? Or do you want me to overtake you? Or there's a, there's a broken road? Hill, 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 30 mile hour hill. Those are weird looking houses. <laughs> Bubbly houses. There's a good driver behind me. He's keeping a good, good distance and he's not really like worried about other drivers behind him. He's being tailgated, but he's not tailgating us or me. So, good kudos on him. I wish everyone was like that. Possibly even the motorcyclist himself. Now, this hill was the worst. Doing 27, 26, 25 miles an hour. Yep. That's no awkward at all. <laughs> and there we go. Really? <laughs> this scooter is like a roller coaster. You go uphill slowly, slowly, and then you go down like a fing rocket. Your pants sometimes, especially if you see a gravel or a big, big dip. That's a gravel around here. So yeah, if you see gravel or a big dip, you get your pants and you panic and you pull the brakes and you slide to the side and you Ziggy swerving. He likes to do that. Just when he's bored, he usually does that. Or he sometimes decides to dance traffic lights. I just stare at him. <laughs> Potential hazards. Careful. Primary school here. We are at the town. Slow down. There we go. Bunch of cows everywhere. Cows everywhere. Okay, so it's if it's a hill and then it's quite bad, but when it's a hill with but bumps, it's tremendously horrible. Oh, what the f is happening here? Good thing I can filter. Filtering. There's a, probably a crash up ahead. Some filtering footage, guys. Perfect. So beautiful. Oh, is this guy gonna let me pass? Is this guy? Oh, okay, stop moving yet. Finally some filtering footage. <laughs> I haven't filtered as much to be honest in quite a while. Go on, filter! What do you see? What do you see? I'm not gonna fit through there, but 
I could fit through there, but there's no point. Bus drivers are obviously taking it to wide purpose. She doesn't clip on the corners. Good thing the fuel station's right there. Beautiful. I haven't done that much filtering in ever really. <laughs> First time I got that video, nice. Make sure it doesn't get lost. Please, pump clear, pay pump clear, or, or there. There we go. What? You overtook the bus, yeah? Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, I agree. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I agree. Then, oh well. At least nothing bad happened. Now you need a fat ass drop. A fat ass drop. Here comes the clap.